Hello you guys, so in this video I just wanted to show you guys uh, my camera, here's my Red One MX and today what I'm going to try to do is put one of these RAF camera adapters I didn't really see a lot of videos online so I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to install it and yeah, first of all let's go ahead and start with the body as you can see the native mount that I have is the PL mount and to pretty much remove this we have to rotate it obviously take off the cap and now I'm not sure if you can see it but there's gonna be a few screws around I believe there's eight so you can grab a you're gonna get a T10 screwdriver or screwdriver head and then just go ahead and remove the bolts that go around the mount you could always rotate it to try to get the screws out because there's signs where you could cover it and you're not able to put in the screwdriver so just make sure to remove all of those now uh, be really careful because once you remove this there's going to be a cable right there so just make sure to grab something or use your finger and pull it out like so so now the mount is off and now we're gonna grab an allen wrench I don't remember the actual size but we could just alright so for this part to remove the ring you have to kinda open it so like so and it slides out make sure not to lose this little rubber part right there this comes right off alright so now what we have to do is going to be pretty much remove this front area I wasn't aware that I do have to take the take off this cable uh, here is the old one and I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a hole right here for the cable and the new one that I'm going to be putting in does not have that so I guess what we're going to be doing is just taking off these screws and removing this front part and then just kind of sticking in the cable so it's not just hanging okay I'm not sure if you saw that but it moves right away be careful because there's going to be a cable in the back don't get scared here but um this is not going to come out you have to just slide it to the side and there's going to be actually a few screws so this is going to be plugged in and there's going to be screws that look like this some tiny screws but those are going to be pretty much right here one two three four five six you're going to remove those and from that you could just lift up these two um, connectors and this other one on the bottom now from here you can see this is a sensor as the sensor itself and what we have to do is get this cable through pretty much and to do so we have to remove the other screws that are left so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and that way it should hopefully free up this little board okay so there's gonna be some plate this plate is gonna come off and then careful because this could fall out as well just take it out it's all dirty <laughs> but yeah now you can see there's more screws exposed this one this one this one this one this one that and yeah we're gonna go ahead and remove that as well and be careful not to be touching the sensor try to avoid it as obviously as much as you can but uh yeah now we're gonna remove that okay so after you remove all the screws these are not gonna come off so just be aware of that and now you're gonna flip it and remove all the screws around here all the this long screws once you take those out you should be able to just wiggle it out and make sure you don't drop the sensor but be gentle obviously and uh, just move it around try to make your way out of it and eventually it should come right off 
There you go. And now we're able to free this finally. And look at how dirty it is. Oh my god. So you could either unplug it if you don't want to have it there, or you could just kind of tape it up and put it like so somewhere. And I'm just going to put it on the side. Make sure not to obstruct any of these uh, screw holes. And um, another thing to note is that I, you don't have to remove these. I did by accident. But now it's a good idea to just go ahead and get them tight enough so they're not loose. It's going to be just two screws. One right there and the other one right there. Now we're going to go ahead and grab this front cover. And align these two, there's two little, I don't know, you can see it right there. Align those, the two little holes, and with this on the bottom right there. So it should look like so. Carefully press it in. Like that and now go ahead and put the screws in all right so now from here you could just put back these little things if they fell out like so they just slide right in On mine that's what it looks like and from here we could go ahead and then just put in this plate and put on the screws so as you can see it's loose it's gonna move but once you install this it should stay in place And it doesn't click, but it does stay in place pretty good. But it's plenty of grip. But um, yeah, it's just something to be extra careful. The lens itself seems solid. Yeah, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching.